What's up guys, I am back and iOS 14.4 is almost here. So this is a quick preview of the update. So in this video, we'll talk about all the new features coming with this update and then we'll talk about the release date. So right off the bat, this is gonna be a massive update over four gigs because there are a ton of improvements and ton of bug fixes over iOS 14.3. So let's dive right in and talk about all the new features coming with iOS 14.4. So right at the bat, the biggest new change, the biggest new feature is with Bluetooth. So from now on, you'll be able to classify devices based on what they are. So basically you can select your AirPods or your headphones under headphones and say your car infotainment under that or your HomePod under the section for HomePod. Now this basically will help you in managing the notifications of audio levels. And if you had this feature turned on in previous iOS versions, the notifications will be much more smoother and less intrusive now and you won't be notified every single time you crank up your volume. So the experience will be better with iOS 14.4. So moving on, we can finally scan small QR codes with the camera app. Now we were always able to scan the bigger ones, but your iPhone always had issues with the smaller ones. So that has been addressed with iOS 14.4 and now you can easily scan small QR codes with the camera app. And talking about camera, if you have any of the new iPhone 12 series and if you got your camera repaired from somebody other than Apple, basically your phone will notify you that this is not a genuine part and you'll have to get it fixed from Apple otherwise the camera won't work. Now in the beginning of the video, I said iOS 14.4 is more about stability and performance rather than new features and that is true because performance has improved and battery life has also improved with iOS 14.4. I mean battery life was just terrible with iOS 14.3 and they have improved it with 14.4 but don't expect anything drastic. I mean there is improvement and it is quite noticeable but it is not by that much. But older devices will definitely feel some bump in performance and power in iOS 14.4 as opposed to 14.3. And other than that, there are a lot of bug fixes as well with this update. So they have improved it massively over 14.3 and you should go and install it as soon as it comes. But when can we expect iOS 14.4 to drop for your iPhone? Now we got the final version, the release candidate on the 21st this week. And basically we get the final version a week after that, but we got it on 21st, which was a Thursday and Apple usually goes on Tuesday or Monday for the releases. So on the week of 25th is when we can expect 14.4 to come to public. Usually the 0.4 versions come in March, but they have really fast tracked the release. And I'm pretty sure we will get this update next week unless Apple wants to release iOS 14.3.1, which was also in debate because we all thought Apple will push out 14.3.1 to address all the issues with 14.3, but they just fast tracked 14.4 and now we will get 14.4 instead of iOS 14.3, which is a win-win situation for us and for Apple as well. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if it did, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.